welcome to Film 5D, the show about everything film and video with the Sony A7S II. I'm Aaron Hammack, and today I want to test out two popular editing codecs for both PC and Mac, DNX HD and Apple ProRes. So literally the other day, it occurred to me that I might be editing with the wrong codecs between both my MacBook Pro and my souped up desktop PC that you see back here. Since I shoot on an A7S II into an Atomos Shogun, I have access to both DNX HD and Apple ProRes. Thus, I really have quite the decision to make when it comes to which codecs I want to shoot with and edit with and on any given project. I've only ever shot in ProRes before this video since that footage works great on my Mac and plays and scrubs very smoothly. And while my PC doesn't actually have the Apple ProRes codec, because it's a PC, Premiere Pro does a great job of transcoding it on the fly so that you can work with it in the timeline. And honestly, this has been my workflow since I got the Atomos Shogun when it came out nearly three years ago. But is it the best workflow for someone in my situation? Someone who has access to both codecs and both computer platforms? Today, I want to finally put this question to the test and figure out things like scrubbing speed, you know, frame drops and during playback, color grain flexibility, as well as exporting time between both codecs on both platforms. My early prediction is that DNX HD will play and edit smoother overall on PC versus the ProRes codec, while the ProRes codec will play and work better on the Mac compared to DNX HD but that the difference between the two editing codecs will be less noticeable on Mac than on PC. Now I should note that these two systems are very different tiers in terms of speed, so we'll only be comparing the codecs on the individual systems to each other and not cross-system comparison between PC and Mac, basically because my PC is way faster than my iMac. Quick specs on these systems before I jump into this test. My iMac is from 2015 running a quad core 4 gigahertz Intel i7 with 16 gigabytes of 1866 megahertz DDR3 RAM and an AMD Radeon R9 video card with two gigabytes of VRAM and an SSD for storage. My PC on the other hand is a bit more complicated since I built it myself. It has a six core 3.7 gigahertz Intel i7 8700K overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz with 64 gigabytes of 2400 megahertz DDR4 RAM with an NVIDIA 1080 Ti with 11 gigabytes of VRAM and a three hard drive setup which includes an M.2 drive for Premiere a RAID 5 external bay for media files, and a clean SSD for all scratch and temporary media files for rendering. Really, this is a pretty great setup for editing. So like I said before, we can't compare the Mac to the PC in this situation. That's not what this episode is about at all. We are comparing DNX HD to Apple ProRes to ultimately see if it's better to shoot in one codec based on where you plan to edit the footage at the end of the day. I will also be shooting at the highest bitrate for each codec, which for ProRes is HQ and for DNX HD is 200X. But enough with all that, let's jump into the test. All right, so to test these two codecs against each other, I took a 30 second clip um, for each codec and same scene, you can see it right here, just a little view of the bay here in San Diego to see if we had some drop frames, to see if there was banding when I went a little harsher on the color correction, and to see just general scrubbing, seeing if one codec is preferred for another platform. So both codecs actually held up pretty well when it came to banding and artifacts. Didn't notice it on either platform. Uh, did not notice an issue with scrubbing either on either, um, either my iMac or my PC. Both codecs were fine. Uh, where I did see a difference was the dropped frames when playing this clip at full resolution. Let's start with the iMac. We can see that uh, ProRes does win across the board. It ties the first round, but uh, narrowly wins the second and third rounds. So, you know, a little bit of advantage there. Obviously, you can also play ProRes natively on iMac, which is nice. But moving on to PC, I had a bit of an issue dropping frames here. Uh, you see this little dot here in Premiere. When it's green, it means you're not dropping any frames. And when it's yellow, it means you've dropped some frames. Well, on my PC, I was having a very difficult time getting frames to drop in this short little 30 second clip. The only way I was actually able to get it to drop frames was by hitting Shift L and speeding up by just a small percentage of the video to see some drop frames. So that's how I got these results. You can see that DNX HR wins across the board uh, 66 to 63, uh, 61 to 57, and 69 to 63. So a much bigger difference here on PC than we saw with Apple. So definitely something for you to consider if you're editing exclusively on a PC and you have access to DNX HR. 
Maybe this is the one for you. Like I said, I didn't really notice a difference in how the codex held up under color correction scrutiny or timeline scrubbing or anything like that. Just the drop frames here, just a little bit narrow advantage to DNX HR for sure. Okay, wow. So there you have it, a lot closer than I thought actually. Only a couple of frames here and there, but there is a definite advantage to being able to play files natively on your Mac. With ProRes, with PC, it goes either way since you'll need a program like VLC Player regardless to play either of these files. As for my workflow, I think that my PC is so fast anyway that it really doesn't make that much of a difference. And I'll probably only use DNX HD on projects that I know for a fact will never be edited on my Mac. But for those of you out there who might have slower setups, maybe using the best codec can help you out. So if you're on PC, maybe it's DNX HD, and if you're on Mac, definitely ProRes. Are any of you using either of these codecs in your workflow currently? Do you have a more optimized setup than I, I mentioned in this video? Please let me know in the comments below, and I'll be sure to respond, and I really do appreciate any feedback. Also, if you're interested in any of the products I mentioned in this episode, check out my Amazon links in the description below. Using my links while shopping on through Amazon really helps the channel out a ton and I do appreciate it. But that's it for this episode. If you have any questions for me directly, send them via at mentions on Twitter at filmin 5 d If you enjoyed this content, give the video a thumbs up. If you want more videos on optimized editing setups like this one, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the logo on screen for updates on my new videos when they come out. If you want to learn more about DNX HD versus Apple ProRes, check out my blog on my website. Also check out my most recent video by clicking the link on screen. Thanks again for watching.